I, Mary K. Sigety. I, Mary K. Sigety. Do solemnly affirm. Do solemnly affirm that I will support the Constitution. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. Of the United States. That I will be faithful. That I will be faithful and bear true allegiance. And bear true allegiance to the state of Maryland. To the state of Maryland and support the Constitution. And support the Constitution and laws thereof. And laws thereof. And that I will. And that I will to the best of my skill and judgment to the best of my skill and judgment, diligently and faithfully, diligently and faithfully, without partiality or prejudice, without partiality or prejudice, execute the duties of, execute the duties of, District 4, District 4, County Council Member, County Council Member, for Howard County, Maryland, for Howard County, Maryland, according to the Constitution, according to the Constitution, and laws of this state, and laws of this state. Congratulations. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Come on. <laughs> so I stood up here. I raised my right hand. I swore for the third time to uphold the laws of the state of Maryland. I have to tell you, it was ex as exciting as it was the first time I did it. I was reminded about being a new council member and how scared I was. Was I going to get stuff right? Right. Well, eight years later, I'm equally as excited. I will be looking at whether or not I will get things right. <laughs> but I was also reminded that when I spoke to you last time and my second term, my focus was on our future. It was on my children, it was on your children, and it was on our children that we had not met yet. And I stand here again saying that I believe that the most important job that we have as council, as county executive, as the leaders of this community are ensuring that this community holds promise for our children. We, of course, <laughs> we, of course, have a responsibility to others but it is through our children that we are able to touch the future. I've had the great pleasure of seeing some of the policies that we worked on together take shape. I live where I can stand on my front porch and I put my hands out like this and I'm touching downtown Columbia. I'm seeing the new development. I'm also, on this hand, touching the Wild Lake Village Center and seeing the new Davids and waiting for the new apartments. These are policies that we said our community needs to be revitalized and we all work together on it. And for those who are in the audience who helped us with that, thank you very, very much. So then I come to what's next. All right, I've got four more years. What are we all going to do together? All right? OK. Um, I have taken the oath to serve each and every one of you. And it is my responsibility to think of the county as a whole, to do that job with integrity. But I stand before you, and there are some in this audience who have known me since I was a very young woman, just out of college. I even had black hair back then. <laughs> who knew that I really was a Colombian at heart. I came to this county not for the schools. Lots of people come for the schools. Not for the parks, not for the libraries. I came to this county because of the promise of Jim Rouse and the new city we were going to build and the next America that it was going to be. I think right now we stand, again, at a point where we need to grab our futures and work with that and imagine it and move it forward. We've seen a little piece of it and our job now is to really take hold, to really establish a strong community that every single person here can see themselves as part of and every single person here will be able to work at. All of what I'm talking about, all of what you've heard and will continue to hear, speaks to our obligation as your elected representatives. Our job is to leave this county 
in better shape than when we took office. And this task will take all of us working together. I believe that in this room, every single person wants the best for his or her community as well as all of us. But each and every one of us brings a different experience and a different set of values to the discussion. We will find times of challenge as we work together, just like we will find times of promise. And I believe that working together, we will be able to keep Howard County strong, lively, and welcoming for those who want to be here and for our future generations. With your help, I'm confident that we will be successful. Thank you.